an extractive institution would be run by the rule of a small elite group, an absolutist regime. The majority of the members of this system are coerced to serve the state. Secure private property rights almost never exist in this environment. This includes land, branding, and ideas, and inventions protected by legal documents such as patents and copyrights. In an extractive institution, property is either owned by the state, in modern times such as North Korea or the Soviet Union, or by a small wealthy elite, such as the apartheid regime in South Africa. Education is usually limited to a small group. Another key factor is the absence of free media. If people are well educated in an instance like North Korea or China or the Soviet Union, the people are limited in the knowledge they are allowed to obtain. From what is seen on the television and film, books, and the internet, everything is controlled. The more limited the individual is in a society and the less opportunity each and every individual has for prosperity, the poorer the country tends to be. Making those countries in which slavery has been a predominant presence in the population, the poorest. <laughs>